Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal, I'm your host Shaheen. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys had uh, took advantage of the price movement that happened in gold in forex market. Uh, we were really really good at calling the markets while all the markets, most of the market got surprised. We were ready for it. I myself have taken uh, profits and it's been a nice couple of days. So let's see what's happening uh, on a smaller time frame. In today's video, I'm going to talk about gold uh, and silver. We'll look at silver as well. And uh, see where the price action fits in, actually. Uh, if you are not aware, I have given uh, two forecasts already. One is uh, approaching to us in a few days. A high is expected to uh, be created on 19th September. That means before that high occurs, we need to have a bottom as well. So we'll discuss more that about it. And the longer term frame bottom is expected in in gold on 17th of October. Uh, let's have a look on a longer term frame first of all and then I'll zoom in uh, to give you um, a smaller time frame uh, analysis and a trading setup as well. So we have two major resistance points. One is right over here. This structure is very important. And the low end for it is 1447. The other one is this one. The top of the previous structure, the side wave structure. Uh, this one actually, yeah. So this structure is very important as well. It's also a top from the previous structure as well. So as you guys can see, this top and this top from the previous structure. And then we had a double top forming on this structure as well. So this top is really important, which is 1375. So I'm expecting that we are to see uh, price in the lower end of this area or either this area on 17th of October. So we're expecting for a major, major uh, bearish uh, price movement. This will be the moment uh, when uh, the market will start uh, realizing that, okay, inflation is way out of control and then we'll go long for here for gold as well. Too much to say too early. Uh, the forecast is already there for the time as well. Let's have a look what's happening on a daily time frame. Now, mind you issue, once again, if you got surprised from the price movement uh, on gold and silver and on forex market, even US stock market as well, we did not. I was prepared. I had um, already been forecasting a very nasty, nasty correction that we have been uh, seeing in, um, in the forex market as well. And that exactly happened as you were thinking like that. So let's, happen, let's see what's happening in gold market. So before the top, um, the top. In case you have missed it, we have a, quite a bit of price movement. Let me go on a 15-minute uh, chart. Before the top happened, that's what I was saying. Uh, we need to create a bottom, and that bottom is uh, creating a five-wave structure. All right. It means that we are seeing a very clear five-wave structure, and I'm going to label it. This is the start of the pattern here. This is where the correction ended. This is wave one right over here, and this is wave two right over here. Wave three strongest and sharpest and wave 4 uh, is complete right now so you can call it a very complex looking uh, correction whatever you want to label it I believe that we are very close to the completion of wave 4 and then we are looking for wave 5 to be completed uh, somewhere back in this area so I'm expecting let me give you a moment where is Okay. Give me a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm expecting that the size of one plus three sh is expected to be closer to the size of five fifth wave. I'm expecting a stronger f uh, fifth wave for some reason, uh, which brings us to uh, 1670. Uh, so a lot of time, what happened is that uh, let me put that first of all. Here is the target, 15 1670. I'll push it just a little bit, half a you know, 6.25% up from the target. And our target right now is 1672, okay? For the bearish outlook, I'm expecting this is to complete uh, hopefully by tomorrow, and then we'll start seeing a price movement are going upward. And then we are to see a correction for a couple of days. I'm expecting that tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow will be a bearish day. And then somewhere in the middle of tomorrow, probably we'll start seeing correction uh, going upward. So this is uh, what today is 14th and what time is it right now? Give me a moment. It's uh, on the chart. I mean, so it's 1700 right now. Yeah, so 1700 Where is that? That gives us 24 hours to uh, complete a price action. Okay And there you go and this 
uh, the chart right now is showing 18th of September is supposed to be 19th of September okay let me go correct that and then because the label is clearly saying 19th of September so we go on properties settings and uh, coordinates all right let me see if I can move the chart uh, it's so this is 19th of September will for now like right over here I think is con considering some date uh, on off day as well so uh, high is expected to be on 19th of September and I'm expecting that we are probably gonna see go around in the wave 4 area of the previous structure so there is a possibility that you're gonna see price movement somewhere in this range uh, when the correction happens now this is uh, analysis is one thing trading is completely different thing so let's let me take it one by one how I'm gonna how I would love to trade it okay this is an analysis but you gotta uh, you gotta know where the analysis is failing I'm expecting right now that the trend line when broken from over here will give us a confirmation that we can go short once you go short remember that the correction is nowhere indication that the correction is ending over here it can actually turn into a complex correction so what does that mean it means you need to put your stop loss over here if you put your stop loss right just beyond over here and just before the price move goes down it goes up one more time your stop loss will be caught so an ideal point will be to actually put your stop loss over here at 1731 at that moment these uh, the profit to loss ratio will be not be really nice but somewhere around one to one ap approximately so it's very very important uh, to understand the risk in the market because we are trading on a very smaller time frame so we got to understand so four is very either close or right over here or we are expecting some more uh, side movement and then uh, the better movement is I think instead of using a um, the trend line we shall be using a horizontal support right over here like this one so break of 1696 will confirm that we are doing going down over here uh, which is 1672 ish and this is our target once we reach there be ready a pullback is expected right over here and that pullback is expected to create a top on 19th of September this will be a nice pullback even this fun pullback is a nice one as compared to the the one we are talking about so with this pullback itself is a nicer one this would complete a wave 5 fr uh, 5 wave structure from over here and a correction so we will 5 3 5 3 5 3 this will go on till the date is given to you which is uh, uh, 17th October and we are expecting a good $300 drop 250 to $300 drop per ounce in the price of gold so very very nice trading setup is being formed um, just as you move if in case you missed it I hope that you got caught it uh, just in case if you missed it uh, market moves very strongly in a smaller period of time and then most of the time it follows correction so it's, it was hardly a couple of hours and then we have been falling uh, in, in a correction uh, so let's have a look at silver silver although we have seen a bullish uh, nice run in silver but silver is not bullish okay uh, just because we have seen a good strength pullback does not indicate that silver is bullish here is it so I'm expecting that the first five wave structure I'm expecting that the correction that we have first a five wave structure is complete and a correction is complete and now I'm expecting another pullback is gonna come right over here and then you're gonna probably see a correction forming uh, some over here alright so I'm expecting this drop to be quite a bit um, and let's see how it goes and then I'm expecting that we are going to see a correction uh, silver as you guys can see is a little shallower so it's going to give us uh, some very nice interesting head and shoulder kind of pattern it's not exactly head and shoulder because once price drops right over here and then we have to expect shoulder right over here we have already seen right over here so in this case this is an ugly shoulder once again this is not a head and shoulder it's just a retesting of support we can say it okay so I'm expecting that the price is going to drop initially and then go and see pull back in that case we are to see precise price downward may definitely there is some name of the the pattern but I'm not aware of it at least and then what are what are we expecting on the longer term frame we are expecting silver to be strongly bearish all right I'm expecting silver to be somewhere around 1260 in days to come 
So I'm extremely bearish on gold. I'm extremely bearish on silver. But one other thing is you want, might want to drop moving averages crossover on a daily time frame. And then you might want to use that as your stop loss. So be your uh, analysis is one thing. Learning to trade is completely different thing. It's a skill. You need to understand money management. You need to understand how much uh, you're risking. If you do not want to trade, let's say I just give a, um, a you know, trade of one ratio one. You not, do not want to take it. That's your decision. For me, it's feasible because I'm already in the market. As per our analysis, we were already in the market in the on the bearish side, so it makes sense to me. I'm gonna go see the target once it's the target get hit. I'm gonna close and then wait for a couple of days to uh, two two days, two and a half days to see the top being happen. And then we'll go five three five three from over here. Simple is that a simple structure, just like over here five three five three five and three another five and three right over here so this is expected to go and you're still bearish on gold and you're still bearish on silver nothing has changed in case you wanted to see some small time frame analysis is in front of you wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye